Hi, I'm Peter. Let's find out. For starters, is Keanu a super begin using guns? If you're attentive enough, you'll see how he uses the same tactic over and over again. He locks his opponent and pins him in place, well positioned for shooting in the head or chest. And the whole scene has a sort of rhythm that turns fighting into a dance. There are brief pauses from the action, whether it's Wick's piercing gaze at his opponent, a moment to reload his gun, or fear in the eyes of the young man aesthetically impressive. No good chase scene happens without a loss. The second chapter showed Keanu as an expert in so-called car fu, which means using cars as weapons. It took three months to plan his scenes in the taxi warehouse. But training wasn't that big of a deal for Keanu because, according to stunt coordinator Darren Prescott, he's one of the best actor drivers in the business. However, in the opening car chase sequence, even though he was sitting at the wheel, Keanu wasn't the one actually driving the car. Prescott explained that a stunt driver was sitting on the top of the vehicle, doing the driving from up there so that Reeves could focus on acting. They also used metal plates to make the ramp in front of the warehouse steeper and allow the car to take a more epic jump. But the entrance to the warehouse really was almost as wide as John's Mustang. To make this shot work, the car had to be sideways or in a drift as it's going up the ramp, Prescott said in the chase breakdown. To get the shot we saw in the film, they had to do seven or eight takes. Even though it was very challenging, they eventually succeeded. Unfortunately, it wasn't without casualties. Car enthusiasts prepare to learn the horrible truth. They actually crashed one insanely beautiful, luxurious Mustang in this sequence, on the very first take. <clears throat> but when they finally made it, Prescott says they felt like they had won the Super Bowl. It's not hard to imagine their excitement. Reflections of the Soul The mirror scene in the second chapter was inspired by a similar scene from the 1973 movie Enter the Dragon, starring Bruce Lee. It wasn't only supposed to be beautiful, it also had to reveal the two dueling personas in John, the grieving husband and the assassin. The main problem with making this scene was the movie's restrictive budget, which was far lower than that of an average blockbuster. But with the help of the crew, they figured out how to do the scene. As director Chad Stahelski said to Cinema Blend, that's where the genius of the crew comes in. They spent hours determining the correct angles for movable mirrors and staging various trick shots that would hide the reflection of the camera while still showcasing the highly skilled fight sequence. It took three months to plan the entire choreography for this complex scene. Not only did the actors and stunt doubles have to rehearse it, but the cameramen, cinematographers and production designers did too. Everyone pitched in to make it picture perfect. And after five days of filming, the scene was ready. How green-suited guys turn into samurais. The John Wick franchise gave us multiple iconic scenes and images, but one of the most impressive ones is the scene in Parabellum, where black-clad bikers attack John with samurai swords. It's just as absurd as it is beautiful. Seeing Keanu Reeves riding a motorcycle in a movie is not that surprising, considering that the actor is also a professional biker. But even for Reeves, it wasn't easy to make this relatively short scene, and it took months to prepare for it. Just like the Korean film The Villainess that inspired this scene, it ended up being quite brutal. But how exactly did they film it? Like in almost every blockbuster movie, the green screen saw a lot of use here. Motorcycles stood on free-rolling platforms with guys wearing green tights running around pushing and pulling them this way and that to get the proper poses for the scene. We could literally have all the behaviours and leaning and hitting each other, doing kind of a virtual reality dream, Reeves commented, barely able to contain his excitement over how they filmed this scene. Even for the movie director, it wasn't exactly clear how they would manage to make it look so convincing. For the life of us, we couldn't figure out how they did it, he said. It was like a puzzle that we tried to piece together. It wasn't as simple as we thought it was. Can you imagine that they had to rehearse the entire sequence four times before actually filming it? And that's not counting all the practice rehearsals. So even though much of the scene was CGI, the amount of work put in to make it possible was crazy intense. And the result was one of the most believably heart-pounding motorcycle scenes in Hollywood history. Keanu wanted to do some tricky things. But riding a motorcycle wasn't sufficiently cool enough, so John Wick also had to ride a horse in one of the most memorable sequences from the film. This idea appeared when Stahelski learned that there was a stable in Central Park. He immediately imagined John Wick riding a horse to get away from his pursuers. However, the main headache was to get everything necessary to be able to shoot this scene on a New York street, 
It required tons of permits, as well as the participation of trained experts and people who made sure that the animals were handled properly on set. But still, just riding a horse was way too easy for our beloved Keanu, so the director had him do trick riding. Among other things, trick riding means hanging on the side of a horse at high speed. Sounds too tricky for you? Well, for Keanu, it was a reason to rejoice. Having had the dogs, now I had the horse training, he shared. Chad Stahelski was like, time to train on a horse, and I was like, yes. This man is always ready to do something new, and we should always remember that he also has a heart of gold. As one of the production team members mentioned, Keanu always showed respect for the animals that he worked with. Well, of course he did. It is Keanu, after all. Heroes always hit their target, right? Have you noticed that every fight scene in the John Wick series seems to be grander and more epic than the previous one? I wonder what they're going to do in the fourth installment. Will they launch John into space and make him fight alien assassins there? Well, probably not, but we'll tell you everything we know about John Wick 4 at the end of this video. Right now, let's recall that battle in a weapon museum that's widely considered one of the most impressive scenes in the franchise. Every second of the scene shot in the Weapon Museum is perfect, from John reassembling a gun just like in The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, to throwing knives into his opponents like in The Man From Nowhere. In fact, this Korean film had a tremendous influence on the whole John Wick franchise. Just think about it, that film featured a melancholic, black-suited ex-assassin who takes revenge on his gang because they took away everything he loved. Stahelski said in an interview with Polygon that he wanted to make the scene as realistic as possible. And he knew that when throwing knives, you can never, ever get every single one of them to hit your target. Some of them will just certainly miss. So we're going to do that, he said. We've got all these assassins throwing knives and nothing sticking and one sticks in here and that one doesn't. Ah, we just thought that'd be hilarious. And it's super serious. It did look a bit funny, because we're all so used to seeing movies where the knives never miss. But in this action-packed scene, we barely have time to pause and laugh. According to Stahelski, that is the secret of a good fight sequence. Reality mixed with choreography. That scene with Hallie and the dogs. Keanu Reeves was obviously not the only actor who trained hard for his role in John Wick. Halle Berry, who joined him in Parabellum, also had to hone her skills too. She spent months working with the dogs and the most interesting thing is that she was actually the one who trained them personally. So not only did she have to do her fighting and gun rehearsals, after her combat training, she'd come home and sit, work and play with these huge German Shepherds. The dogs on screen actually obey Halle. They're not looking at a trainer, Stahelski explained. It made the fight scene look so much more authentic. But Barry's time with the dogs wasn't as smooth as dog lovers might think she actually had a serious problem with them. They'd continuously go off script because of cats. There's cats everywhere, and when my dog saw cats, they went ballistic, Barry said. We'd be in the middle of a scene and all of a sudden a cat would come strolling by and off goes the dog, because at the end of the day, they're animals, and nature says, you know, go get that cat. Well, I can imagine that it was both frustrating and hilarious for the actress and everyone else on set. But all the hard work paid off because the scene turned out awesome. It was vicious, brutal, and memorable. And it's probably one of the first scenes you recall when you think about the third chapter. But we also know that the fourth installment of this epic franchise is on the way. John Wick 4, what we know so far. The film was announced a year ago and its release date was planned for May 2021. But since it coincided with the fourth part of the Matrix release, where Keanu is also the lead role, filming was postponed and the new date for the premiere is scheduled for the end of May 2022. Of course it's frustrating that we have to wait for two whole years to learn what new challenges await John Wick, but it's certainly worth the wait. We don't know much about the upcoming movie, but we can expect that Lawrence Fishburne and Ian McShane will return as the Bowery King and Winston because Parabellum's ending sets them up as important characters. Working on